In a galaxy not so... Wait, let's switch off the lights. In a galaxy not so far away, in fact our galaxy, the Milky Way, we can find a solar system that is comprised of eight planets, all of them orbiting the Sun. These eight planets display the diversity of planetary science. So let's start our journey with Mercury. Mercury really is a planet of extremes. Closest to the Sun, its surface temperatures can reach blistering daytime highs of 430 degrees Celsius. But as Mercury has no atmosphere, it cannot retain heat. During nighttime, the temperature can drop to freezing lows of minus 180 degrees. Mercury also is the smallest planet in our solar system. By the way, despite its proximity to the Sun, Mercury is not the warmest planet. That title belongs to the planet nearby, Venus. Venus is similar in size and composition to Earth, but radically different in climate. Its thick carbon dioxide atmosphere traps heat in a greenhouse effect, making it the hottest planet in our solar system, with surface temperatures around 470 degrees Celsius. Venus is also covered in dense clouds of sulfuric acid, hiding its volcanic surface. And Venus is the nearest planetary neighbor of our home planet Earth. Earth is unique for its abundant liquid water and life-supporting atmosphere. Our planet's magnetic field shields us from harmful solar radiation, while the balance of nitrogen and oxygen allows complex ecosystems to thrive. Its active geology, from plate tectonics to volcanism, continually reshapes the surface. Did you know that our planet is around 4.5 billion years old like the entire solar system and life developed only 1 billion years later? Mars, also referred to as the red planet, is about half the size of Earth. Mars captivates us with its rusty deserts and potential for past life. Evidence of ancient riverbed suggests Mars once had flowing water. The red planet hosts the largest volcano in our solar system, three times taller than Mount Everest. Mars also has a canyon system that dwarfs the Grand Canyon, and the planet is orbited by two moons. But that's nowhere near as many as for the neighboring planet Jupiter, with more than 90 moons. The largest planet, Jupiter, is a gas giant that doesn't have a true surface. The planet is mostly gases and liquids. Jupiter dominates with its immense gravity. The planet is 11 times wider than planet Earth. So if Earth would be the size of a grape, Jupiter would be the size of a basketball. Did you know that the Great Red Spot is in fact a storm larger than Earth that has raged for centuries? Jupiter also has a strong magnetic field. And there is only one planet in our solar system with even more moons than Jupiter. Saturn is orbited by 146 moons. The planet is instantly recognizable for its stunning rings composed of pieces of icy comets, asteroids and rock fragments. Saturn is the second largest planet in our solar system, but despite its vast size, in fact it is remarkably light, with a density so low it would float in water. Because just like Jupiter, Saturn is made mostly of hydrogen and helium as well. The next planet, Uranus, stands out for its unusual tilt. It rotates almost entirely on its side, likely due to a colossal impact in the past. Its pale blue color comes from methane in the atmosphere, which absorbs red light and scatters blue. Uranus is windy and cold, just like its neighbor and the last planet on our list, Neptune. Farthest from the Sun, Neptune is a very cold and windy planet. Its supersonic winds reaching over 2000 km per hour are the fastest in the entire solar system. Like Uranus, its blue color arises from atmospheric methane, but Neptune appears way darker. It takes 165 Earth years for the icy planet to orbit the Sun. One more thing to take home, either for school or the next pub quiz, is how you can remember the order of these planets from closest to farthest from the Sun. My very excellent mother just served us nachos. Please like the video if it was helpful to you, check out this one here and feel free to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.